Best Car Stereos I've always despised guys who drove through the city streets with their windows down, blasting their car stereo system for everyone to hear. It's usually guys who like very abrasive music, and it just got on my nerves. Yes, you are entitled to have a good stereo system in your car, but it doesn't mean you have to force everyone to listen to it. I like a good system too, but for me, to listen to. Enough said. When most people think about a car stereo, they're actually thinking about the car receiver, also known as the head unit or deck. The receiver is both the brain and the heart of your car audio system and the bit that you'll directly interact with from behind the wheel. When you choose a receiver, you're also looking in your available audio sources, features, and the expandability of the rest of your car audio system. So what should you look for when you're choosing a new receiver? Here are a few key features you should consider when looking to purchase a car stereo. The most important bits that you should look for are the audio sources that you use most often. Do you need a CD player? Will you be using your receiver for DVD playback when parked? Have you ditched discs in favor for digital media? Depending on your answer, you will have to decide whether to go with a traditional CD receiver with a slot for discs, a larger AV receiver with a color screen, or a meshless receiver that ditches the drive and all of the moving parts that come with it. Even if you still keep a book of CDs in your car's glove box, odds are good that you or a passenger will want to plug a phone or media player up to your car at some point. So make sure that your new receiver at the very least includes a USB port for MP3, AAC or WMA playback from flash storage devices and a 3.5 millimeter analog auxiliary input for universal connectivity. Your CNET reader, which means the odds are good that there's a smartphone in your pocket that you'll want your new car stereo to play nice with. Be sure to check out CNET's guides to using your Android phone or connecting your iOS device to the car for details. The broad advice is to look for the main with iPhone badge to ensure that the USB port on your new stereo supports full speed access to your iDevices media. Users of the iPhone 5S or 5C or any of the iPads that use the new lightning connector will also want to make sure that the receiver uses a plain vanilla USB port and not an older 30 pin connector. Android, Windows Phone, and Blackberry users have no badges to look for. Either pick a receiver that uses A2DP stereo Bluetooth audio streaming for wireless media playback back or make sure that the aforementioned auxiliary input for the simplest connection. Heavy users of streaming apps like Pandora or iHeartRadio should look for receivers that feature controls for those apps. Putting your custom stations, pause, skip controls, and rating tools in the dashboard where they can be more safely and legally accessed when on the road. Every car audio receiver sold today will feature an AM FM radio that will tune into your local stations, but you may want to improve on them. Picking a receiver that has built-in HD radio decoding will dramatically improve the audio quality of local radio stations broadcast in digital format. You'll also be able to access digital sub-programs for stations that support multicasting to increase the amount of available free programming as well as iTunes tagging of broadcast songs for purchasing and downloading later. I'm not a huge fan of the audio quality offered by satellite radio, but frequent road trippers and other drivers who travel long distances may see value in being able to have their favorite radio stations beam to them from space to anywhere in the country. Sports fans may also appreciate the variety of NFL, NBA, and NHL programming available on the subscription-based service. Most new car stereos that are able to support satellite radio will do so via optional SXV100 or SXV200 Sirius XM Connect module. So be aware that you may need to purchase and have additional equipment installed, as well as paying a monthly or annual subscription. Car audio receivers can do more than just play your music. Many can also help you get to where you're going with turn-by-turn -turn GPS navigation. For those too lazy to click the link, you'll want to look for flashy memory-based maps that can be upgraded via a removable SD or micro SD card. Traffic reporting is extremely useful and can be had for free over the RDS TMC band or through the HD radio tuner. More than a few of you are already poised to argue that the navigation app on your phone would be superior to an in-dash system, and you're basically correct in that assumption. Smartphone navigation apps such as Waze, Google Maps, and Scout stand generally head and shoulders above the best aftermarket in-dash GPS receiver that we've tested, offering more up-to-date and accurate maps with fresher traffic data, voice commands, and better destination search. Every make, model, 
model and year of car is different, so installation can be tricky. However, nearly every receiver uses a standard wiring harness for connections to your car's 12 volt power and its speakers. If you plan on doing the installation yourself, you'll need to be able to take your particular car's dashboard apart and remove the stock radio, a wiring harness to connect the new receiver standard harness to your car, and a mounting kit to hold everything into your dashboard. A rudimentary understanding of soldering and crimping wires is helpful. Alternatively, you can pay a certified installer to do it for you. These days, installation is often cheap and sometimes free. Stay with us until the end because you don't want to miss our number one pick as we count down the five best car stereos. And before we begin this list, be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more informational list related content just like this one. And don't forget to ring the bell so you don't miss any new lists as we release them. You can find a link to all the options on our list in the description down below. Now, let's get started. Number 5. Kenwood Excelon DMX 905S Number 5 on our list is the Kenwood Excelon DMX 905S. The Kenwood Exelon DMX 905S connects to both Android Auto and Apple CarPlay through USB connections with some options for wireless Android Auto connection. Only works with certain phones and operating systems, so check before you purchase. Beyond its Android compatibility, it's an excellent double DI in digital media receiver. It doesn't play CDs or DVDs. It sports a 6.95 inch LCD touchscreen and Bluetooth pairing, and you can connect and switch between five audio sources and two phones for hands-free calling. You'll get great sound quality as well thanks to its amp with 22 watt RMS, 50 watt peak power across four channels and a 13 band graphic equalizer to optimize audio based on your vehicle and your preferences. Customers highly praise this device for its relatively low price and sound quality, but they say the Kenwood software isn't all that functional. Number four. Pioneer DEH-X6900BT Number 4 on our list is the Pioneer DEH-X6900BT. If you can skip some of the bells and whistles, the Pioneer DEH-X6900BT in-dash car stereo system is a fantastic choice for budget-conscious buyers. Whether it's already enabled in your vehicle or not, the Pioneer adds Bluetooth connectivity so you can wirelessly stream music, answer and end phone calls, hands-free, through the car's speaker system. There's also a front panel USB USB and aux input for hooking up various gadgets, including an iPhone or handheld music player. Featuring an onboard EQ 5-band equalizer, this device offers powerful, high-quality audio for the price, according to reviewers. Customers particularly like the dual-zone color customization of the display and buttons, but many note that even on its brightest setting, the LED screen is too dim to see, particularly in harsh sunlight. Number 3. AVH 4200 NEX Number three on our list is the AVH 4200 NEX. With a whopping 7-inch display, the Pioneer AVH 4200 NEX in-dash receiver is an outstanding option for car owners who want a gorgeous display that's full of functionality. With built-in DVD compatibility, Apple CarPlay, and Android Auto, there's no shortage of device support. The Pioneer extends its support for Apple with Siri compatibility, as well as built-in iPod, iPhone, and iPad control through an optional adapter that allows for the viewing of video content. Plus, built-in Bluetooth supports two devices at one time. There's also extra support for Sirius XM so you can access music, traffic, weather, and sports. Connecting any compatible iPhone or Android smartphone via Pioneer's app radio mode adds on-screen access to your contacts, calendar, maps, and more. Additionally, App Radio Live adds all news and media info you'd want into a single interface designed for quick and easy discovery. Number 2. JVC KWM740BT Receiver Number 2 on our list is the JVC KWM740BT Receiver. Boost the sound of your stock speakers and connect to all of your Apple and Android devices with this sharp, minimalist car stereo from JVC. The touch interface is intuitive with a smart design that allows you to transition from navigation to music to your phone. A double DIN receiver lets you set and store a wide range of acoustic preferences, including subwoofer and EQW. Customers rave about the 
the sound quality. With high resolution playback up to 192 kilohertz for 24 bit audio, playback quality is 6.5 times that of a CD. The stereo possesses K2 enhanced digital sound quality and bass boost three way crossover, which together ensure high frequency reproductions of original recordings. Access your tunes with ease using dual USB ports, Bluetooth connection, Android Auto, or Apple CarPlay. Some reviewers warn Android compatibility leaves something to be desired, however, particularly when trying to access apps like Google Maps. Number 1. Pioneer AVH 4200NEX Receiver Finally, the moment you've all been waiting for number one on our list is the Pioneer AVH 4200 NEX receiver. The Pioneer AVH 4200 NEX features a 7-inch screen and an outstanding level of compatibility with music files and smartphones. It can play FLAC, MP3, WMA, AAC, and WAV audio files, as well as MPEG-1, MPEG-2, MPEG-4, AVI, DivX, and WMV video files. For smartphones, it works with both Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. When it comes to music services, the AVH 4200 NEX is compatible with Spotify, Pandora, SiriusXM, and you can use its Bluetooth connectivity for both music and calling. The speaker system sounds as good or better than the original car radio. Customers especially love the interactivity between the receiver and iOS and Android phones, as well as the customization. In terms of downsides, the system crashed a few times during the testing period, but the issue was resolved by restarting the unit, something that's common with computer processors. I hope this countdown of the five best car stereos was informative and helpful. Don't forget to ring the bell so you don't miss any new lists as we release them, and you can find a link to all the options on our list in the description down below. Join us next time for another Top 10 Tech Countdown.